Hey everybody, welcome to a Friday edition of Good Morning Madden. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely click on that follow button. I'll let you know when we go live here Monday through Friday. i um, going to run through some announcements. We're going to get to the 50 and then um, we're going to do some giveaways, but definitely want to take a moment to kind of address some things um, that I think the community has been seeing and, and just talk about that. So I'm going to rift a little bit. Be kind of, it'll be a little bit of a different stream um, today, but uh, I definitely wanted to go ahead and take a moment. Uh, just so you guys know, I don't have chat up. Uh, I've been kind of dropping some frames on my computer over here. Um, it could be related to my internet. Um, there's been some construction this week and I've just noticed a lot of drop frames and having the internet up in the chat kind of brings it down. Um, I'll find a way, especially when I start talking about some stuff. Uh, we have people on our team kind of looking at some stuff and uh, talking about those things. So um, first up, I uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, we did see this, and I kind of just want to bring it up, uh, DMARC, and it's not just DMARC, there's a lot of other people that they say they keep getting an error trying to import my franchise on Xbox, uh, Xbox Series X, um, and the uh, Madden NFL Direct account tweeted out um, the, uh, uh, the import franchise feature is currently gated um, as the team is investigating an issue. Uh, we, uh, when we have more information, we'll let players know. So it's something that um, was brought to our attention yesterday, that there are some issues there. They have kind of gated that, and once they go ahead and get those issues resolved, uh, they will ungate that. So I just wanted to go ahead and call that out. Also, um, I believe uh, we've been seeing reports uh, from some players that have been saying that um, they have a digital version of the game, and then when they're trying to upgrade, it's saying that they need a disc. Um, so, you know, we're primarily hearing a lot of that feedback happening kind of out of the EU region, um, and that's something that not Gibbs and a lot of other folks are kind of looking into. So just want to give you guys an update that if you are seeing that, it is something the teams are aware about. I think FIFA had the same issue. We're working with the FIFA teams to go ahead and, and take a look there. Um, uh, we went ahead and put out an article yesterday. Um, I'm just showing this here, but I'll show you guys the article. Um, but, uh, it, you know, in, in the article, uh, the, the one thing that we highlighted um, was that, they, you know, this is the weekend league information regarding the monthly November and weekly weekend league rewards. Uh, all the details are here specifically on when the monthly uh, November weekend league rewards will be going out. It is based on a five week period and the number of wins have been adjusted accordingly due to the disconnects earlier this month. Um, you know, those will be coming out on Thursday, December the 10th. Um, not just that, uh, but down below, you also see that the weekly uh, weekend league rewards and the top 100 solo battle rewards have been updated as well. And uh, uh, this is basically all going to go into effect um, early, uh, you know, starting on, on Monday. So just a heads up there, want to let you guys know what's going on in that space. And again, I'll just show this to you guys because it may be kind of hard to read on stream, uh, on stream specifically what's going on here. But uh, again, your weekend league rewards uh, for Tuesdays, those will go shortly um, out after Team of the Week content from 2.30 around 3 p.m. And then, of course, we have those monthly um, Weekend League rewards are getting kind of a, an update to, uh, starting today going forward. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, from that perspective. Uh, also, uh, for those folks that didn't know, Eric Ebron and also Marquise Brown went ahead and got their updates. Um, and uh, they got their updates in game yesterday. We went ahead and tweeted that out over at Madden NFL Direct. Um, and uh, just wanted to bring that up to you guys as well. Uh, here is your Madden Live schedule for today. Uh, uh, we have Shopmaster right after the stream today uh, at four uh, at, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, that dude uh, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and then Rhino from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, we also have our Madden Mobile segment um, happening as well. But just a reminder: on Sunday you have Lauren and you have Noob. Uh, doing the stream as well. We have our Madden Mobile segment going live at 1 p.m. Eastern today. Uh, definitely check that out. Um, Twitch drops are enabled there. Um, I'm going to talk about the 50 real quick here. So we went ahead and teased these out over at the um, uh, at EA. Sorry, we tweeted this out over at EA Sports underscore Mud account. Um, and uh, Shane Leckler is one of the items, but I know a lot of people uh, were wondering, is, is that it? Um, but we did get Ray Lewis. Uh, Ray Lewis will be coming out around 2 p.m. later on today. And then next up, uh, you have Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Aaron Rodgers will be your next the 50 item um, that uh, will will be coming out around 2 p.m. Eastern today. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's kind of like the con the content that's going out today. Um, <sighs> um, I don't I don't know if you guys have noticed that when I've been doing the stream just now, I feel very uncomfortable. I feel a bit rattled. Um, it's it's been 
it's been a very interesting last 24 to 48 hours for me. Um, I definitely want to take a moment and um, talk to you guys about something. And that is, um, and, and just, just talk in general about things that have kind of happened this week. I think like the two big things that the, the community is talking about, um, they're talking about the MUT price pack increase. And they're also talking about uh, Twitch drops. And it's one of those things that I just need to talk about it because I need to get it off my chest because one of the biggest challenges that I have is kind of doing this show and kind of showing up Monday through Friday, five days a week is it's my goal to give you guys as much information that I have available. And when I don't have that information, it does put a strain on me in, in communicating with you guys, right? And I want to take a moment um, to just acknowledge a couple of things. Um, I know there's been people in chat that said we've been censoring you guys um, when it comes down to the mutt level pack increase and everything like that. And I, I don't want to take a note here because I'm, I'm taking, I'm doing something very unusual here. And I don't, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to get in trouble. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to, what's going to occur with me and the show, how I'm going to be doing it going forward. We talked to my management teams about it and a lot of other stuff. There, there was no censorship there. There's just the fact that when people spam stuff in chat, and I see it right now, right? You know, about the crown tokens and everything. I'm going to talk about that too. When people spam that kind of stuff in chat, it kind of ruins that experience and, and other types of streams ban people for that, right? Um, and, and, you know, they ban people for spamming. They, we're not doing it for censorship. I mean, I'm not, I'm not oblivious to the issues that happen in our game. And I know people think that maybe I am oblivious. I'm not. And um, so with that being said, I want you guys to know with the mutt level pack increase, um, I was kind of informed on this and when it occurred, probably right around the time that you guys were informed. And I spent my Thanksgiving break reaching out to various business leaders to understand why this was done over the holiday break. Um, and also more importantly to me is that when an issue like this happens, I strongly believe that players need to have this information communicated to them, but not just that, but that there's a path. There's, and when I say there's a path, there's a path for those players that have been grinding for a long time. And then all of a sudden they notice that, you know, they've unlocked these things. And then all of a sudden there's a difference there and that there's a path of remedy for those players to go ahead and get that issue resolved. And that is something that I've been doing since Thanksgiving. And I, and I do not have a statement from the business on why that was done and I know a lot of people are asking for that and I'm doing my part and my very best not only to get a statement that's been approved by the business um, but also I'm working to go ahead with our customer care teams to get a path of remedy for those players that were impacted um, and stuff like that and the I, I don't have that information and I, I continue to ask and I will continue to ask and once I have that information we will definitely get that out to you guys. But I want you guys to know that I totally understand where you're coming from. And I see those comments. I see it on Reddit. I see it on Mutthead. I see it on this stream. And I have been trying to go ahead and get answers for those kind of things for our players, um, especially for those that are impacted and are looking for a path if they've already grinded and they unlock those levels. Um, I don't have an answer. Um, and, and, I, and like I said, when I found out about this, I was kind of in the same boat as a lot of our players. And I just want you guys to know that for me personally, I am a big proponent of making sure that stuff like that is, is communicated up front. And if that was a procedural miss, um, that was a business decision. I, I can't change a business decision. And, and, and I have to respect that business decision. But at the same time, I will always weigh in on those business decisions for our players. So I just want to take a moment to talk about that. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about to you guys in the community is I totally like, and I, and I went ahead and put this on Reddit. I know we had an issue with Twitch drops maybe about two or three weeks ago. And then once that got addressed on the back end system, um, I've been monitoring and I've been monitoring with some game changers and some other folks that they've been saying that they're not getting Twitch drops. Right. And they have followed the steps using the EA help article, and they're still kind of running into problems. Um, I've been doing my part every single day to escalate, send emails, ping people to say, hey guys, can we look into this? Because I don't know if we have an issue or not. I don't know if there's something on the back end that's a problem. And the, 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 frustration, the frustrating part for me, and I know for you guys, is there are programs that are tied 
to your viewership. And if that viewership doesn't occur, you're not getting those items for like Derwin and everything like that. And, and throughout the course of that entire program, we've reached out to various teams and we've talked with those teams and said, hey, people are having issues. Can you guys give them a Derwin drop? All those Derwin drops that you guys see, those gicks that you get, like everybody gets them, it's because of the efforts of our team of going and saying, look, man, people are not getting these things or there's a known issue. We need to get this addressed. Now, this specific issue, people are getting drops, but some people are saying that they're not. I don't know specifically what's going on in that space. Um, I've shared this information with customer care, um, you know, and, um, and, and I have gotten the feedback from customer care to please refer them to help.ea.com and to also look at an article where it talks about how you need to unlink and relink your accounts. Players have done that and they're still having issues. Um, I know that there's people right now at EA, um, there are probably some of our customer care advisors that are watching this stream um, that, you know, the, anytime I recommend for our players to contact help.ea.com is for two reasons. One, I really want to encourage our players to contact help.ea.com because they're having the issue and also that their information is taken down so that our players, if, if, if there is a problem and we're going to try to remedy it, we can assess that impact. So for our players out there right now, when I tell you guys, you know, go, please go to help.ea.com, they're trying to do the very best that they can, but they are also limited because this is an issue that they don't have any control over. It's something that I have to work at the studio level, which I have been working on and I've not gotten responses and I've escalated it again and again. Um, and it's, it's, um, you guys are frustrated and I'm very frustrated for you guys, but I don't have an answer. And I know that you guys are spamming the wall of text, you know, about the Derwin drop and everything. Just, I mean, feel free to do that, but there's, there's nothing that I really can do in that front outside of what I'm already doing for you guys. Right. And I'm, I'm just at a loss. And I, I think what I want to encourage our players that watch this stream is that, I know you guys are frustrated and I know you guys are angry. I am frustrated and I am angry as well. But I, I need to tell you guys, we're all human beings and when you go ahead and you contact help.ea.com and you get someone an advisor to respond to you, don't, like, for lack of better words, you know, don't, um, I, I can't say the word on stream, but you know what I'm going to say, you know, but like, don't, don't be rude. Don't be disrespectful. I know you're angry and I know you're upset, but they're trying to help you as much as possible. And when, when you go to them and you go in that state off the rip, it makes it very difficult for them because I think they're very limited in what they're able to do because, you know, they already know about the issue. You know, I've already let them know about the issue. I've already let Armando on our studio level know about the issue. We're working together every single day, you know, and we understand the limitations that our advisors have. But just know that, you know, um, all I'm asking is for just a human act of decency when you do reach out to people. I know you're angry. It's very difficult when you're angry. When I'm angry, I'm angry at Spectrum right now because my internet's just trash right now you know lately and is i'm dropping frames on stream i'm very angry because like i can't do stuff like i'm doing right now uh, i have to realize that there's a person on the other side and i need to be i'm trying to be as respectful to them as i can so um i don't know what's going to happen after everything that i've shared today on the stream um i don't i don't i'm gonna i'm gonna do my very best to keep doing these streams um i don't know if i'm gonna take a break from doing these streams um uh, you know, th there's a, there's a lot in my role that I want to do for our players when it comes down to gameplay, when it comes down to franchise, when it comes down to a lot of other things, Madden live team, the, the Madden live services, especially Madden ultimate team takes up a huge portion of my time because, you know, there's content that goes out, but then there's issues that we kind of have to follow up on. So it is a giant, it, it, it's just a, a giant consumption of time. And, you know, uh, I'm extremely grateful that I have people like not Gibbs and this is not to offer an excuse. This is a job. I signed up for it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And if, if I'm not cut out for it, then maybe I need to go find something else. Um, and yes, I have been looking because, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's time. I don't know. Right. So, um, I'm sharing all this because I, I, I can't go into the weekend with you guys. Um, I value this community so much. And I, the reason I, I the re, people ask me all the time, why do you keep doing this job, Kralo? Because if, 
we do this job because we actually really care about our players and we care about the gaming experiences that they have. And we'll fight tooth and nail to make sure that your voice is heard at the studio level. But we don't represent, we don't control those resources and we don't control those people to actually go ahead and do that work. We have to partner with them, but we keep pushing them. We follow the protocols, we follow those processes and all that kind of stuff. And I do that, you know, and I've, I've, I've been working in corporate for a long time, so I kind of know kind of the, the language that's there, but I'll keep pushing and pushing and pushing, but I can't fix those things. I can't fix some of the servers things. I can't fix Madden franchise. I can't do any of that kind of stuff, but I can represent and I can fight and I can totally agree and empathize with our players. I can be frustrated for you guys behind the scenes um, and things like that. And, and we'll continue to do that. Whether I'm doing it on this stream or whether I'm off stream, I will do that. Or whether in whatever role I'm at at EA, I will do that. You know, so um, like I said, in good faith, I could not go into the weekend not addressing that kind of stuff. I did not want the community to feel, especially in the stream, that they were feeling censored about the level pack increase. It is something that I'm fully aware of. We have shared that feedback to the business. We've asked the business, can you please provide a statement for our players and a path of remedy? Once I get that, I'll be more than happy to share that. Um, we did vocalize our concerns um, when we were informed, uh, very close to when players were informed. So um, my deepest apologies to uh, you guys. I know that's frustrating. Um, I, I, and I, again, I'm identifying with the frustration of players of maybe just wanting a little bit of a heads up, but I'm also identifying with our players where they would have just appreciated that if they grinded, that there was a path. And my, my goal now is to just find that path. And I will, I'll, I'll continue to work on finding that path. Um, I do want to advise, if you do contact help.ea.com about this, they're probably not going to be able to help you right now because we need to establish a path in that regard. Um, so I'm working through that. Uh, if I have any more updates, I'll definitely let you guys know. And then, like I said, the Twitch drop thing, I'm going to keep looking into it. I will do a stream um, maybe next week where I kind of walk people through the article and the unlinking and the relinking of the account. I need to make sure that when I do that, that my personal proprietary information is not leaked to the public. So I need to figure out and test that on my own. Um, but yeah, uh, that's enough for me. Um, I'm going to do these giveaways and I'm going to get on out of here. Um, so... Uh, it's Messer23, uh, congratulations to you. Um, and I, I just wanna say, you know, I'm, you know, how do I say this? I'm not a hero here for just talking, right? You know, you got people out there like Mike McFadden, you know, former community manager, felt the same way, you know, battled for you guys. And he got, you know, I think that one of the toughest things in this role is, you know, you work for EA, you represent the community. It's a love-hate relationship with the community, you know, because you're a face for EA when you do these kind of things. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you're an easy target. You know, Clint Oldenburg, great easy target. You know, why? Because he's a gameplay producer um, who basically has to go ahead and manage the requests from people above him. And he also has to manage a team. And the guy works so hard and cares so much for this community. And everybody thinks that it's his response. He's the one over here coding everything. And he's trying to go ahead and build a balanced game for everybody. You know, for the community, for competitors, for franchise, for sim, not sim, uh, for the new casual players coming into the game. And that's a hard task, you know. And I just, I empathize with him because I know he's in the same boat, um, you know, and, and, he, and he just cares. But, but, but we're in the same boat, but he's a target. And, and just for all those people out there that make YouTube videos and this is going to become something or whatever, um, you know, and, and, that, and that's fine. But I, I definitely want to say at the end of the day that, you know, you, it's, it's, it's easy to take shots at people that you don't know. And it's easy to take shots at people that are working very hard and putting their, putting their face with their name out there you know, and just, just attacking them. There's a lot of people and everybody's working really hard and everybody wants to fix those issues. There's just sometimes, there's just other challenges. So um, I'm going to roll another giveaway. I should get this done um, because I don't know what's going on. Uh, I have no idea, 77. So I have no idea. Um, I think you won earlier um, and I'm going to go ahead and do another giveaway. Uh, I, I recall seeing your name. Um, one thing too is going forward with giveaways. I think with dump trucks, I'm actually gonna move to like a code word so everyone can enter. 
um, kind of thing. And this is Nightbot. It's a random thing. I don't control it. I have it set to all the people in the chat, and it's crazy sometimes when I see these names. And the only reason I know these names is because I have to do the grants. Um, so Scraps11, congratulations to you. Um, uh, and I'll let everyone know when I'm done with all this. I'm sorry. I'm kind of just like all over the place today. Uh, the, uh, it's just been coming, it's just been coming to an end for me, um, in that regard. So I, I just had to say something for the dump truck. It's M N Nuss, M N Nuss. Um, congratulations to you, uh, for the dump truck. And then next up will be, uh, F F N L Black. Congratulations to you. Um, to my manager, if you're watching, I completely apologize um, to you. Uh, I appreciate all your support um, in all of this. Um, like I said, guys, I don't know what's going to transpire. I don't know if I'm going to have to issue a public apology on Monday. Um, but I know I've been rattling, but I, I know I've been rattling, and I know exactly what I wanted to come here and say, and I know that I said it. And um, I appreciate this community so much. And I appreciate that you guys stick with this game because you love this game. I've been playing this game since 2010. I've been playing Madden uh, Ultimate Team, and that's my area of expertise. I've loved Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, continue to love the content that they push out. It, it's just, it, it's a really cool concept. It's, it's gotten increasingly complicated over the years, no doubt in that regard. Um, I love the game of Madden, um, and, and I will continue to love the game of Madden. And I think at the end of the day, um, it's a fun product and there are issues. I, I'm not blind to those issues. Trust me. I see them all. I see them on Reddit. I see them on Mutthead. I see them on Twitter. I see them on DMs. I see them in Discord. I, 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 I get pinged all the time and, and I see those things and, it, and I understand that frustration that you guys experience as players. Um, but um, there, there, there just comes a time when you... Um, you just have to just, just be open and honest, you know, and, and there's, there's a business side to me. There's always been a business side to you, to me. Um, I, I don't know, Mike, if you see this stream, you know, but Mike will probably know you. I, I try to be the most business and the most professional person, um, in the studio because I value those relationships because they're people. I'm working with people. I'm not working with robots. I may be a robot, right? Because I work 12 hours a day and I'm working all the time and I have robotic responses. This is the human side of me. This is the human side of me that you guys are seeing. Um, I know the community, to be honest with you. You know, it's like uh, I had some people tell me earlier this week, the community loves you, Kralo, but they want to see you break down, you know, and, and, I, I, and they want to see you fail. I, I, I'm not breaking down. I'm just finally just saying, hey, you know, this is really what's going on, especially for these two issues. These are two issues. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing it up is because I have been working on these things and I know how important they are for you guys. And I'm trying to get those answers. Um, and like I said, I may not be the best fit for this show going forward. Um, you know, and, and RG, if you're out there, brother, may need your help. Uh, Nick may need your help. I may not be the best fit for the show going forward. Uh, I may be the best fit for the person behind the scene that's trying to find the answers. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, Free Fallen, I just want to let you know, when, buddy, you won a Tyreek Hill, uh, LTD, and the Pup. Uh, Beast Bros, uh, you won Kareem Jackson, the LTD, and the Pup, uh, 4,000 training. Uh, Free Fallen, you won the 4,000 training. Young Bull, um, you won Janoris Jenkins, LTD, the Pup, and 4,000 training. Um, uh, it's Messer, uh, you won a regular giveaway, Ray Lewis, his pup and 3000 training. Uh, I have no idea. Um, you have Aaron Rodgers, his pup and 3000 training scraps 11. Um, you also won Aaron Rodgers, his pup and 3000 training, uh, M Ness, um, Aaron Rodgers, uh, you want Ray Lewis, Aaron Rodgers, his pup and 5000 training. And then, uh, F, uh, F, F Nell Bick, you won Ray Lewis, Aaron Rodgers, his pup and 5000 training. When I'm done with the stream. I'll be reaching out to those winners, and um, you know I, I'm just I'm just saying this. I know my managers are probably watching. Uh, Matt Gibbs, everybody, I'm really sorry um, if I put you guys in in uh, a difficult situation today. Um, guys, I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the Madden Live schedule. 
there you have their Madden Live schedule. Uh, definitely go check out Shopmaster. I love that guy. Uh, that dude, Rhino. Um, there you have it. Lauren and Noob uh, on Sunday. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, I'll talk to you on Monday if I'm, I'm here on Monday or if, if someone else will come in. We'll, we'll be back Monday. Trust me. Somebody will be here Monday. Um, you guys have a great evening, and I will uh, talk to you next week. Peace out.